Hello everyone, I present you all the 2024 Nissan Interstar Large Van. A very exciting moment, but before we go further, I would like to talk to you all about the Nissan Interstar. It is directly related to the Renault Master. So not surprisingly, they came out at the same time, the new generations, and this is well this was worth the wait, I think. We waited so long for a new generation and it is very interesting to look at. Primary competitors of the Nissan Interstar and the Renault Master would be the Mercedes Sprinter, the Volkswagen Crafter, and the uh, Stellantis large vans, like the Peugeot Boxer, if I'm correct. Then you have the Fiat uh, Ducato, the Opel Movano, you name it. My first impression of the Nissan Interstar, I was actually about to call it Renault Interstar because the front design is very similar to what I saw in the Renault Master. In fact, there's almost no difference when it comes to the headlights. Uh, the big difference would be this chrome touch right here. Now there's something about the front that has this American touch to it. I don't know what it is. If it's a reference to uh, some North American Nissan models, which they don't sell elsewhere. I was also thinking of the new generation Nissan Navara, which they don't sell in Europe anymore, unfortunately, but I saw pictures of it uh, from uh, Australian sources and uh, North American sources, if I'm correct, when it comes to the Nissan Frontier. The side has seen massive improvements. It looks far better. In fact, when I reviewed the Renault Master, the first thing that came to my mind was the side looked very... It looked like a reference to Japanese uh, vans, mid-sized vans from the 90s. That was the first thing that came to my mind. There's something about this that looks Nissan-ish. It has less of a boxy effect uh, towards the side, if you know what I'm saying. It's, it's like it's a more round edge, really, which is far better. Otherwise, when it comes to the design overall, it looks evolutionary to the previous generation. But thank goodness they employed this kind of design right here. And who said only sports cars get air vents? Even these vans are starting to have air vents. Look at it. Air vents over there. Now it is time to check out the interior of the Nissan Interstar. The first thing I noticed earlier was that you do get heated seats for the driver. That's good for a price of 47,000 euros. Another thing is that you're going to love this van because they haven't completely modernized everything. They still stuck to some old school aspects. Take a look at this. Physical buttons over here. Well, that's mainly your climate control. But then at the same time, the instrument cluster is still with gauges. Wait, let me just... There you go. See? Gauges. And that's, that will be your, inf uh, your infotainment system. Thank goodness they haven't resorted to having a massive touch screen to control everything. But then to be fair, for this segment, this is going to be expected. Now, another thing that's also expected is that you do get hard plastic just about everywhere. Now, that is a common practice for this segment. And this is really good, actually. You get storage spaces just about everywhere. So look at this. See? And over there as well. Take a look at this. It's very rare that car manufacturers make use of the empty spaces they get because most cars I've seen, they always have lumps of plastic that have no purpose whatsoever. But Geno and Nissan, they've been doing great things lately. And this is the latest example. And I had the same thing to say about the Geno Master. The, the steering wheel looks directly like it's come from a Clio. I mean, it looks like it came directly from a Clio. You, so, you know what I'm saying? Uh, except there's something a bit Nissan-ish about it. The fact that they put the piano black on the side. That's cool. That's nice. And these cup holders on the side, they float. And obviously this tray over here, this is something you, you can fold up. So here's my conclusion of the Nissan Interstar. The Nissan Interstar large van is a very interesting alternative to popular choices like the Mercedes Sprinter or the Ford Transit, which is very fun to drive by the way, and the qualitative Volkswagen Crafter. Now the Mercedes Sprinter honestly also has a status and reputation aspect to it. The Nissan Interstar, is a mixture of budget and at the same time something qualitative something robust that's the best thing i can say about the nissan interstar so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos that are on the run i will see you all next time